Hi, my name is Mark Hocker. I'm the founder of The Boiler Room. I'd like to take you on a little tour of what we do at The Boiler Room. Basically, there's four video clips that I'm going to show you. That pretty much sums up what The Boiler Room does. First of all, we like to create a character, typically a three-dimensional character. Um, the character I'm going to show you is based off a real person. The person used to work for one of our clients in the paper manufacturing industry for 42 years. This chap is in the forestry at the moment. He's speaking 100% Zulu. When he works inside the mills, he speaks 100% English. Our software works on what we call phonemes. A phoneme is the shape of the sound that comes out of the human mouth. So basically, if we want him to speak Japanese, we record a Japanese WAV file and put it in, and he will speak Japanese and lip sync. So he's like a news presenter. He's our anchor person. He will explain the introduction to the story, and then from there, we can use him in other ways. Here's another good example. We've got our hero, our mascot, our presenter. One of our clients has got a rule, you must be 20 meters from a vehicle. How do you explain 20 meters to an illiterate person? I don't carry a tape measure around. How do, how do we get these people? Let's do roughly 20 footsteps. That's a good gauge of roughly 20 meters. All right, we've established distance, but why this silly rule? At the moment, we've got a guy loading a timber truck and this guy is on the other side of the timber truck. And voila, boom. We show the consequences of incorrect actions. A lot of companies spend a lot of money on safety and a lot of money working out your unit standards. We show you why we have these standards in place. The next clip I want to show you is why Boiler Room are very different to pretty much everybody else. We work as visual communications people. We like to tell a story visually. That means we do the visuals and then a script later. We don't do the script and try and match the video up. In this clip here, do you see what's going on? Well, our three-dimensional character has walked into a real live pre-shot scene. Obviously, we've taken into account safety. What the guy has done, he's stopped a vehicle. The guy is talking on a cell phone. That's illegal with our customer here. So with his action, he said, why are you on the cell phone? And the guy's, oh, sorry, puts the phone down. And he says, where's your seatbelt? Okay. The real person puts his seatbelt on. The scene is now addressed. It's been made safe. We give a thumbs up and the character disappears. That's what we do. We bring animation over the top of visuals and there was no audio there. Yet we're telling a story. 90 to 95 percent of our storytelling is all visual. We rely on this playing in maybe a lunchroom with no sound and you'll still understand what's going on. The last clip here is a montage of a conveyor belt safety campaign for one of the larger mining houses. So there's a lot of mixing going on here. We've got not only humanoid characters, we've got animal characters. This is a lion. We also have a meerkat. Both walk, talk, everything 100% like a human. We kit them out with their own personal protective equipment, 100% to what the mining or industrial, whatever the client needs. Here we have a real person with a character. Here we've got a character walking behind struts. So we've masked out the struts and put the character behind that. Here we've deliberately rotated the camera. I'll just hit pause there. We rotate the actual real video camera and our animation software, we track the real movement with the animated movement. So we're getting that level of realism, not normally found on training videos. This is one of our library pieces. We would change the overalls of the person and everything we do is reinforce, reinforce. So as he looks at his gloves or his hands, gloves will appear and the icon will appear. Here we have a very common thing throughout the world. It's called a pre-checklist or pre-use checklist. Here, unfortunately, a lot of our people just tick flat out. They don't really look at what they have to take why? Let's take the equation of the English writing here or the text that's written there. Let's get rid of it. We show a picture. Okay, this is just a demonstration, but the picture in the real video will zoom out. 
show them either video or a two-dimensional photograph showing them what they must tick on the actual checklist. It removes any excuses. Here's another example of intervening. We've got a person that's working without gloves. Our character stops the person, hey, where's your gloves? And throws him a pair of gloves. Our animated person gives our real world person a pair of gloves to put on. The scene is corrected, on, on with the story. Here, our two safety heroes are talking about, they're doing a, a, a splice on a conveyor belt, so they have to take the counterweight up. So they're talking about safety issues. Here again is, unfortunately, something Boiler Room are very good at. This is a fatality that happened about 12 years ago at one of our mines. Um, a guy was pulled through a conveyor belt by using a shovel when the conveyor belt was moving. Firstly, it's a Y-shaped conveyor belt with a handle on the top. So that jerked and the guy got pulled straight through. If it was a straight shovel, it would have pulled through and maybe got a burn or a splinter. However, the underlying rule is you must not use a shovel on a moving conveyor belt. So what we do is we go back into our library, get unfortunate accident, change the overalls to match our client and redo it. Somebody else can learn from this poor person's mistake. And now the guy knows, yes, I mustn't use a shovel. Let me use water. The animated character gives a thumbs up, well done. Here's a very good example of animation. How do you set uh, fire to a conveyor belt for training? You don't, it's way too expensive. So what we're doing is we've masked out the uh, grid, like the guarding, and we've put some fire there behind it. Also what we've done is we've created some icons here. One is if in the event of a fire on a conveyor belt, first things first is you, you communicate it, a cell phone, a radio. Second, you pull the bell wire to stop the conveyor belt. Third, you try and extinguish. Fourth, you evacuate the area if it's uncontainable. Here, we go into a lot of detail. This is an emergency stop mechanism on a conveyor belt. We go and show people, doesn't matter if they're illiterate, they still want to learn. Why? Why has this got guards everywhere? Well, if my arm's in there and that thing stops, I've lost my arm. So that, in a nutshell, is what Boiler Room does. We combine animation, live video, photographs, and we tell a story visually. Thank you for your time.